Welcome to our bold 2022 projections or predictions, predictions for yeah. Canadian sports slash athletes. Honestly, man, this is a uh, we're, we're gonna make like there's some predictions that you can like potentially see. We're going to have some like very bold ones that it's like maybe hopefully not many of you have seen coming, but I do think for mine at least, I do think there's a legitimate possibility in them happening. Uh, again, we're probably a little bit of homer with it comes to that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, that's totally fine. So maybe I'll get us started here. Okay. You start. Yeah, I'll get us started. You start. My first, we're each going to give three. We're going to give him a snake. Like, we're going to give mine, then Celso, then me, Celso, me, and then Celso will finish off with his biggest Ooh, bold predictions. Okay. That's going to be a good one because my third one is you're not going to like, but okay. it's going to be funny. My first bold prediction revolves around soccer and the Canadian men's national team. Now they're first in CONCACAF right now, mm -hmm. so making saying that they're going to make the World Cup isn't necessarily that bold no. from the position we're in right now. So I'm going to say not only do they make the World Cup, they're going to finish first in the group stage in their individual group and make it into the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Oh, well, you're just going straight to the quarters. And straight up quarters. Dang. I okay. think they win the first round of 16, and I think they made it into the quarters. I do think they have a talented enough offense that they can pr produce that, and their defense is getting better game by game. Uh, they're going to be that. young and experienced, but I think that's why this is so bold. Because if they play the way they can, yeah, this can is that. a like, team I can see that them, can... I can see them making them past the group stage probably, depending yeah. on who they get. Yeah. But well, especially if they're in quarters. Qatar's group, they're absolutely making it oh, in the, yeah. out of the first round. But dang... Quarter quarter final. Final. That means they have to win one elimination game. Yeah. And we've seen like teams like, not saying Nigeria is a terrible team, but Nigeria, Uruguay, they've all made it to the semifinals in years past. Mm -hmm. There's there's always one underdog that comes out. This Just year was Croatia. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this last World Cup last was Croatia. World Cup Croatia yeah. Right? Yeah. There's always one team that comes out of it, and I think this year can be Canada. So that is my first like bold prediction. Like Canada not only makes it to the World Cup, not only do they finish first in their group, but they make it into the second uh, round of eliminations into so the quarterfinals. Quarter Maybe they go further, like... but I think at least quarterfinals, this is a good enough team to be a top eight team for, for one respective tournament at least. And John yeah. Herman's a good enough coach. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And then like definitely for like the next World Cup, they'll definitely have improved. So that I yeah, because not only are there, they're a young, young, young oh, team. Yeah. Their, their best players are going to be just starting their prime in the next World Cup. Oh, Not yeah, 2022, definitely. in the 2026 World Cup, they will be starting their prime. Can you imagine how good this team can be? Anyways, I would love to see them pass the group stage for sure. Yeah. this year we'll have uh, we'll have an all about footy preview episode coming up soon, and then an all about footy uh, recap episode after the next window. But this is all I'll say about Team Canada right now. That is my bold yeah. prediction. That's a good they one. not only make the World Cup, but they, I hope I don't. I'm not jinxing them because they still have a long ways to go to qualify. <laughs> 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 I still have a long way to go to qualify. Let's not get this. Oh, yeah. Let's not underestimate this. That's why I thought, like, bold enough was them making the court with the World Cup. Especially just starting off this. That was bold enough that they just qualify. But, but quarterfinal, dang. Quarterfinal will be, okay. uh, is a very bold one. So. Super bold one. Yeah. All right. What's okay, yours? My first one, I'm going to say either Dennis or Felix wins a uh, Grand Slam this year. I think, yeah. They both, that's very bold. Super Bowl. Because no Canadian well. male has ever won. A Canadian no. has won. That was Bianca a couple years back in the U.S. Open. But yeah, like Bianca and Layla, I can see them winning this year for sure. Like if they yeah. play like they if did like healthy. last year and they're healthy, yeah, I can see them winning. But yeah, Dennis and uh, Felix kind of have a harder, uh, harder road <laughs> considering like all like the yeah. top top uh, male players. I'm telling you, I agree. I think I can see maybe. It'd be amazing if it comes true in the in next week in the Australian Open. But I can probably see maybe Wimbledon or US maybe. I would agree. Wimbledon or US are the most likely yeah. for me. It's, just, it's both their styles. Yeah. I think Roland Garros French Open is way too difficult to beat either Dominic Team or Rafael Nadal. Mm -hmm. It's just not happening. Yeah. That's a very bold one. I like it. I think that's a... Yeah, that's that's very bold. I don't think they'll win this year. I think they'll make. I my prediction. They'll for definitely that improve, be, but I think each my Daniel was saying this. My brother Daniel was saying this that uh, each Canadian of the four big Canadians, all four make it to a Grand Slam semi, and I definitely see that happening. That'd be it. Layla, Bianca, Chapo, and, and Felix, Felix all make a Grand Slam semifinal this year. I see that happening. I can see that happening. Yeah. Okay, 
Moving on. So I'll go to my next prediction, I guess. The Toronto Blue Jays make it to the World Series. That is pretty bold. Yep. From no, from not a, a playoff team to a World Series team. They were basically they a were playoff They were out, team. but technically. No, technically, technically speaking, yeah. they were not a playoff uh, team no. this year. They're good enough in my Good opinion. enough. But they had yeah. a better record than the eventual winner. <laughs> <laughs> they still have a lot of things that they have to work out. Oh yeah, the start the pitching is primarily what it is, and they need to figure out how to s- replace Simeon. Yeah, but that's true. I think they have the talent. They're young enough. They, they have the talent to do that, and they have the trade pieces that they can get big pieces in. So, that is my bold prediction for baseball: is that the Toronto Blue Jays will make the World Series. Now, I'm not saying win it. I'm saying make it to the World Series. Do you think they can win it if they I, grab like if they the grab stuff that... if they if they have a replacement shortstop, which I think can be internal. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just need better team defense and then two relievers and one pitch and one starter. Starter, yeah, I do, because they're gonna get their ace back or their um not their ace. They're gonna get their uh, closer back from last year who was injured all year, mm-hmm. Tommy John. So they're gonna get him back at least to be like a mid mid inning kind of reliever. I think they can. They, they're talented like enough. Vladimir Guerrero is the best player in the league. Mm-hmm. Not named Shohei Otani. <laughs> he's only the best because he's a dual threat. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Vladimir Guerrero and Co. can get up there. We had four silver sluggers this year, didn't we? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think we can. All right, what is your I next like one? one? My next one, going away from our usual, like, four sports that we usually talk about in our main podcast. I'm going to say one of Stroll or Latifi will win a... A Grand Prix. Just one. It's going to be tough because Hamilton is still amazing. Verstappen is still is amazing. And then there's lots of really good, talented drivers. But I'm going to say uh, either one of Stroller or Latifi. Win one race. I'll say one race. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Uh, now I'm trying to think. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of, of my last one. I'm I have to go, go last. I have I know, to go last. I know. <laughs> you're, I know you're doing hockey, and I don't know what it is. So I'm going to stay away from hockey. You can do hockey. It's it's not... We talked about it earlier. It's not what you were thinking, like the teams you were thinking. So you can go ahead with hockey. We can finish off with hockey. Let's go with my bold prediction is that... I don't know if it's necessarily bold or not. Say it. We'll, no, I'm not we'll, okay. Say it. We'll discuss it. Say it. We'll discuss it. No, no, no. Do it. Do it, do it. Not, it was going to be Canada winning the Olympics, but that's not happening. Uh, that's that's going to be tough. <laughs> that's not bold. I mean, if they can, they have a deep enough team that they can probably do it, but they've always been good. Okay, my bold prediction right. will revolve around soccer again. Okay. And it's going to be that Jonathan David wins the scoring title of the new team on the new team that he plays on next year. Like, he, see, like that, for yeah. example, if he gets if he has a move to Arsenal, he will be the Premier League's top scorer. Like oh, he okay, will okay. win the league scoring title with his new team next year. That's a good one. I like that one. I was gonna say if they go if he goes to Germany, like any team in Germany, he's not gonna win it. <laughs> maybe Lewandowski's leaving. Is he? Yeah. Then maybe. But no, I, I Jonathan I like that David one. winning the league scoring title in his new league or with or his, his new with team. His new maybe team. it's not even a new league, maybe it's a new team. But I like that one. That's it. All right. Honorable, honorable mention, what was your hockey? The Canada winning the Olympic gold. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Okay. Or or a Canadian team winning the cup this year. Okay, that one's pretty bold, too. Yeah. Okay. Mine, last one, which is hockey. You're not going to like it, but I'm going to say the Oilers just missing the playoffs this year. Just missing the playoffs. I'm not going to say that they're going to be last. I'm going to say... How's that bold? They're out of a playoff spot they right can, now. They can probably make it to the playoffs. But uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say because like they have the team to make the playoffs. It's just like they're having super bad luck and goaltending is not that good and Tippett's just making dumb coaching decisions. <laughs> That's fair. That's, but I think... like I, I can see I can see um, them getting leapfrogged by like for like the wild card spot. Winnipeg will definitely should make it to the playoffs. I can see if Vancouver still playing the way they're playing right now. I could. And if the Oilers are playing still the way that they are right now without any changes of some sort, I can see Vancouver leapfrogging over Edmonton. I was going to say Chicago, but that's not that's not going to happen. <laughs> but I can I can see I see it happening too, though. I don't know if like you over you overhyped it. <laughs> no, like 
Like, listen, if the Oilers don't make the playoffs, everybody gets fired. Let's not even kid ourselves. We all yeah. know this is going to happen. Like Holland, I mean, I don't even think I don't think Holland gets fired, but I do think the entire coaching staff. Will oh yeah, like everyone's fired. saying that they're going to make the playoffs. I like, and like with the team on paper, like yeah, they should be they a cup should. contender with the team yeah. that they have on paper. But listen, I'm saying that yeah. they're going to miss the playoffs. Okay, I like, I don't think it. Ha- I don't think they miss the playoffs solely because I think bef- they're Holland's smart enough to make a change before it's too late. But he is also known not to change coaches throughout, like during the season, though. Yeah, but he's also not never been in a position like this. That's true. Yeah, because he had a really good Detroit team until consistently like, had a good team in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I can. I'm gonna say like because yeah, they're not gonna make the playoffs. Okay. In the way they're playing now, they're not going to. Yeah. Make it anyway, so it's like... <laughs> but like they should bounce back. But like I'm saying that they won't. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, <laughs> listen, man, I don't disagree. I think they're playing horrifically right now. They're an embarrassment to this entire league, to the freaking sport, nonetheless. Even like, even like the I, I heard even the broadcasters in Arizona were making fun of the Oilers. Everyone's making fun of the yeah. Oilers right now. It's an like, absolute abomination what they're doing. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bold because they're supposed to make the playoffs. Yeah, well, at the but... beginning of the season, it would have been unbelievably bold, especially after the freaking after their start. Yeah, that would have been an incredibly bold prediction. Uh, yeah, I'm saying they're not going to make any changes, and then they're not going to make the playoffs. Oh, okay, that's unbelievably bold. There's no way no changes happen. Yeah, significant like, changes. Very... Significant changes. Like everyone's seeing, like the coaching change. Yeah, that's that's a significant change, though. That in itself that... is going to make this playoff team. So I'm going to say they're not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, that's, there we go. That is bold. Okay, I'll allow it. That, that can be a bold prediction. Because <laughs> they right. do I, need like a few other pieces, and then they they should bounce back. But I'm not, I'm saying they're not going to, unfortunately. As much as I want to, that's my prediction. Like, my heart, I want them to make it. But my prediction, just for this video's sake, they're not going to make it. Okay. Cool. All right, well... That's our, our six, I guess, bold predictions for the upcoming year. Let us know what you guys think. I think uh, Give us your predictions. Yeah, give us your predictions your in the comment predictions. sections below. And thank you, for everybody, for listening to our midweek episode this week. Uh, tune on later on next week uh, for episode number 15 of the can podcast. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.